Hello, we're going to be talking about absolute value. Absolute value represents the distance from zero. The absolute value of five is five, and the absolute value of negative three is three, because those, those numbers, the distance to zero is five in the first case and three in the second case. These questions require you to know what the absolute value does, but remember that when an absolute value is combined with an inequality, like a greater than or equal to, then we have to solve two equations. So I'm going to walk you through that because that's a little bit uh, tricky. So think distance from zero. The absolute value of a number refers to that distance from zero. So if you're looking at this number line, you can see that the absolute value of negative one is the same as the absolute value of one. So let's do a few of these. Six minus eight, the absolute value is going to be the absolute value of negative two, which is two. 13 minus 23, the absolute value is going to be the absolute value of negative 10, which is 10. Negative seven minus six is negative 13. The absolute value of that is going to be 13. Now, I, re I referred a, a moment ago to the fact that when you do absolute value with inequalities, you need to solve two equations. Check out the inequalities video because we discussed that there. But the point I'm making is that if you have an absolute value combined with an inequality, you have to solve for it both in the greater than and the less than um, environment. So we will uh, talk about that. We talk about that at length in the inequalities video, so please check that out if you're interested in learning more about that. Now we're going to look at some absolute value questions uh, on the SAT so that you can know how to solve them. Thank <laughs> you.